Welcome back to NC Bass, and today we're on Lake Hickory, a little one-on-one -on -one tournament. We're on John's home lake now, since I, I beat him on my lake. He wants a little revenge. I don't know this lake very well at all. I did fish here when I was a kid off a dock, but that's that's way different then. But I fished here with him a little bit. He hadn't shown me the secret spots yet, though, but I'm sure he's going to go fish them today. But I'm just going to try to mess around and get lucky. I kind of hate this lake. I can never catch more than three fish here. So if I catch a limit, I'll be real happy. And it's summertime, so it's probably going to be even even tougher. But hopefully I can catch one or two. I know there's some big bass in this lake, though. At least I got a chance to catch a giant. Let's see how it goes. Got one. Oh, yeah, nice one, actually. On the fluke. Yeah, you know I'm desperate when I'm pulling out the spinning rod, but I'll take it. Stay down. Oh my gosh, nice spot. Yes, finally a fish. It has been a struggle. I pulled out the spinning rod and had like a little eight incher, 10 incher maybe bite it. And I was like, well, maybe I should stick with the fluke. It's a nice spot. Man, it's been a struggle. Not huge, but he ain't bad. Bad sized at all. Oh, nice. First signs of life I seen out there jumping. I put the troll motor on high and zoomed over there. Bam. Nice little, probably about 1.6 pound spot, maybe 1.7. Not bad. He's, he's over a pound and a half, though. Yes. We needed that one. It's a struggle. I thought I might be getting skunked here for a minute, but it's about nine o'clock. I got about three hours left. It's only a six hour tournament because it's going to be hot today. Well, midday update. It's not looking that great. Got one decent spot, but I've had two bites on the fluke and that's it. I mean, it's been a rough day. Like it usually is a hickory. It's been tough, but sun's out. Maybe they'll position these fish. I'm going to try the, the bridge down here at Ring Dam. Hopefully we can get some maybe deep drop shot in there. Or something i don't know the water's kind of stained back here it's stained everywhere but it's a little even more dirtier back here i mean it's not real dirty but it's way dirtier than norman so deep water fish might be tough hopefully he's not catching them like i'm not but maybe we can make it happen like we did on norman two days ago when the sun came out the fish actually started biting hopefully we can catch a couple real quick Ooh. oh yeah Drop shot, tiny little spot. That's what I expected to get here. Tiny one. That's a keeper. Get 214, so I'll take it. We'll get rid of him. was a giant I just broke off a freaking giant there's one a bit on the way down he might be 14 oh, a large mouth well, there was nothing but spots down there yeah, I need a net for him drop shot they're eating tiny blueback herring He's not that bad. We'll take him. Oh, that's a little bit smaller than the one I broke off. The one I broke off wasn't very big. But I just had a six pound line that was frayed. I wonder if he's 14. He might not be. Yes. 14 and a half. He's still little though. But Oh yeah, little guy, but the fish on, be a bass. Okay, tiny, tiny little spot. Whoa, 
Well, I got my 214 now. I keep missing these guys that are perch. I think there's perch down there too. I keep getting bites, little nibbles. Can't hook them. I mean, that guy is tiny. He's not even 10 inches. He's almost 10, he's about 10 inches. Little one. Okay, one more over 14, at least I can have a limit. My God. There's one, oh my. God, dude, how, why can I not hook these fish? There he is. Feels like a good one. No! Oh, he just come off. How? There's a fish. Feels weird like a catfish. I think that's what keeps biting it. And it come off again. Why am I losing them halfway through the... Well, guys, give you some drop shot tips. It's the only way I can catch them. You know, I'm in the middle of the tournament. I've got about an hour left. I need another fish. I don't can't take long. But using a higher speed spinning reel, a six two to one. You got to use braid. Braid to a mono leader. I got a six pound mono leader for the finicky fish on Norman. This water's kind of dingy. I could definitely get away with like ten pound fluoro for sure. And that's that's what we're dealing with down there, guys. See, the bait is stacked. That might be bass, but I've been getting a lot of perch bites, maybe even some bluegill. The herring just move and never stop moving. It's kind of hard to, I'm pretty sure there might be some shad down there, but the fish I've seen that's been getting hit were herring and they just keep moving, keep moving. And most of the time the bass aren't even biting. They're just sitting there. But when they get fired up, you gotta get down there. That's when I had them three back to back to back. I couldn't even get a single one of them in, but they kept, especially when you reel one in, it gets the school fired up and you just drop down there and, you just got to feel the bite let them take it for a second the little perch just keep nipping at it but just look at your electronics and wait for the bite hope you actually can get them in because i can't get a bite on the damn pole there we go stay down stay down Oh, he's little. It's gonna boat flip him since he's small. He's a largemouth though. Oh, not that small. He'll help. Ah, oh, gosh. The largemouth have all hit it on the way down. That was a epic fail. Yeah, she's definitely not even close to 14. Man. But at least he's a pound. He is about not quite 13. So, ah, you were just a little bit bigger fish, but drop shots getting them. I'm gonna keep going with this. The fish out one tiny guys. They're both little as can be. Oh God! Feels like a good one. Stay down. Stay down. spot I think he ain't gonna be 14 either well we'll large mouth gosh well he's a large mouth he's about the same size as the last one not big enough actually he's even smaller he's only 12 12 inches not big enough, but I can get rid of both those tiny spots now. I need one more keeper over 14 inches. Well, guys, tournament's over. He's got two. We're not even going to weigh him. It was a struggle day. All these fish are so deep. He had two about one pounders. We're not even going to weigh them. It's going to get these fish back in before they die. But it was a. Spots are taking over too because we're catching spots like crazy. 
Well, that's the best best two fish, guys. One fourteen and a half and one sixteen inch spot. It's probably about one point six or so, but it was a tough day. I mean, I probably got four pounds in here top. I mean, maybe five, but not. I did better at Norman, but again, only four fish weighed in, only two over fourteen. Well, he's fat though, but these spots are taking over on Hickory. But come out victorious, so I'm, I'm pretty happy. <laughs> I might have got lucky, but deep water fishing, guys. Electronics caught me all these fish. I mean, that one spot I got lucky just casting a fluke out in the middle of nowhere. I mean, I had two more spots that were tiny. Blew it on a few fish. I mean, I, I should have five real keepers. And that's a tiny one. Two under 14. I had two more tiny spots that are probably about 10 inches apiece. But it was a tough day. But come out with the wind. It's pretty sad when you don't even catch five pounds of wind. It was a it's a tough day to fish right now and a tough time to fish right now. So probably gonna start doing some pond fishing. Let the boat rest for a little while. Ponds is a lot easier to find the fish. But I just can't fish deep. It's it's tough. See you on the next video.